Hello everyone! Have you ever wished you could generate stunning images using AI, but found the cost of tools like Midjourney a bit too steep? Well, today I'm here to introduce you to a real game changer, a tool that is not only free but also packed with advanced features and exclusive functions. Meet TensorArt, a free and powerful AI image generator. This isn't just any image generator, it's a tool that allows you to create and use your images for client work, even on platforms like Fiverr. Why are we still waiting? Let's dive in and generate our first image. I'm sure it's going to blow your mind. First, you'll need to log into the site. Just click sign in on the top right side of the page. You can use social login or sign in with your email. In this video, I'm going to use continue with Gmail. Next, you'll need to fill in your name. You can also add a profile picture, but that's optional. The important part here is to apply your invitation code. This will unlock exclusive beta features and instantly earn you more credits. You can copy or paste that invitation code from my video description, or you can type what you see on my video now. Once you've filled everything out, click Save. And just like that, you're in. You'll automatically be navigated to the home page. Okay, now let's get to the fun part, generating images. There are several ways to do this, but the easiest way is to use another creator's prompt. You can navigate to the model page or click on posts here. This will show you images generated by other creators. To use one of this as a starting point, simply click Remix, just like I'm doing now. On this screen, you can select any model, adjust the LoRa and other options, and explore the advanced features. But before we dive into those, let's generate our first image, shall we? Just click Generate and wait for your result. And now TensorArt is working its magic. Let's wait for our image to be generated. Wow, we did it. Now you can experiment with generating images by changing the model, adding LoRa, or using other features. Let's take a moment to understand these features and advanced functions. Here, you can change the size of the image you're generating, like I'm doing now. Just like in Stable Diffusion, you can select the sampling method. This allows you to control the randomness of the image generation process. ControlNet is an amazing feature you must try. By providing your own images, you can generate unbelievable new images. It's like giving the AI a starting point for its creativity. The Hires Fix function is another handy tool. It helps you to upscale your image for a high resolution result. Perfect for when you need that extra level of detail. And then there's the Add a Tailor feature. This is used to provide more prompts for character generating images. You can find examples of this in other creators' posts. You might be thinking, isn't this similar to Stable Diffusion? Yes, it is. But trust me when I say, Tensor is even better. It offers more advanced features, making it a superior choice for all your creative needs. So if you're looking for a tool that's really free, powerful, and packed with advanced features, TensorArt is the one for you. It's more than just an image generator. It's a platform that empowers you to create, innovate, and impress. Give TensorArt a try today and experience the power of AI image generation for yourself. And let's not forget about our amazing model creators. If you create models, LoRa, or other texture modes, you can host your own model on TensorArt. Just click Host My Model. The best part is TensorArt will pay you when someone generates an image using your model. So, creators, don't forget to use this amazing site for hosting your models. And if you're currently hosting your own model on Civiti, don't worry. There's a way to import your model directly into TensorArt. It's all about making the process as seamless as possible for you. Visit TensorArt today and start creating stunning visuals for free. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting tools and tips. See you in the next video. Bye!